Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the uh, uh, using National Instruments uh, Vision Builder for automated inspection, and we'll use this to inspect dominoes, uh, just because it's a unique uh, part that we can uh, get some uh, interesting uh, data from. So first thing you do is go into all programs here, go down to National Instruments, Vision Builder AI, 2011 Service Pack 1. So one of the things you'll need to do is make sure that uh, you either have a, a camera hooked up, or in my case, I've actually taken some pictures with a webcam already and just stored them in a file for the purpose of the class I'm teaching here. So NI Vision, here's my domino photos, and you can actually see that this folder has nothing but pictures of various dominoes. Um, so again, lighting is key, uh, the image is key, uh, but this, these could be coming down a conveyor belt just as easily as they are uh, in this case, individual images in a file. This makes it simpler to set up and run. Um, programming would be the same even if you're getting them from an actual uh, camera installed on a, on a system. So at this point, we're going to configure a new inspection. It's coming in now. Okay. Um, the next thing I would do is over here on the right hand side, I would either acquire an image from a camera. Or obviously the other thing I could do is, is read a, simulate an acquisition from a, a file. Um, for the purpose of this class, again, we're going to simulate from a file. Later on, we will hook up a webcam, a uh, USB camera. You could use, uh, obviously, you could use any of the National Instruments cameras, um, other cameras, Ethernet cameras, USB cameras. Um, but again, for this, this sake, we'll use a simulate of acquisition of, of images. So I click on that. And all I have to do is in here, I have to go out and find the file. So I've got a file, you know, in here in, in the 1240 folder, uh, vision stuff. I created a file folder with just Domino photos. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Otherwise, it'll try to scan whatever's in there, too. And it may not recognize file and fail and all kinds of bad things can happen. So then once I have that site set there, I can go ahead and hit OK. And that is equivalent to uh, hooking up to a camera at this point. Now the first thing that I do, I, I tell the students is, number one, you have to acquire the image. Number two, we have to process the image, um, look for objects, things like that. Um, so I always come over here, and in the case of, of a black and white item like this, there really is no benefit to having color. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, is go from my acquire images over to my tab here that says enhance images. Um, so at this point now, I'll go into the Vision Assistant And the vision assistant's going to ask, do you want a constant area? And I could, I could drag this thing and make it bigger or smaller. I could try to hit the exact area where the domino is, but these dominoes could come in kind of crooked, diagonal, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to change this to a full scan. So I'm going to look at the full region of interest, which is the entire screenshot. At that point, I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. It's launching the vision assistant. I can zoom out here a little bit so I can see more of it. And what I like to do whenever I'm dealing with just purely black and white is I like to come into my, my color area here and do some extraction of the color planes. Uh, there really is, really you can try different things. If I go to the red plane, I see that that's kind of cruddy. If I go to the blue plane, it's a little bit better. If I go to the green plane, you notice how it's a nice crisp image. Black and white, I can see those dots are nice and black. They're not gray like they are in the red plane. They're nice and black. And there are other areas down here you can try too, like the hue plane, saturation plane. Um, all of these are things to try, but I'll tell you for this one, this green plane works is gonna work terrific. I can see, if I can see it clearly, uh, you can imagine the software is gonna see it clearly. So I hit okay. As soon as I close out of the vision assistant window now, it's gonna actually build the vision assistant right down here and I hit okay. And you'll see the second step. So I've got simulate acquisition, now I've got my vision assistant, so I go from this, which is kind of colorized, to this, which is purely black and white. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to is I want to detect objects. And the objects I want to detect are these black circles. So I'll go into the next. I'll go from my enhance images over to my locate features. I'll go to detect objects, and you can see it almost looks like a domino. Detect these dots, right? That's what exactly what I'm trying to do. 
Okay, so I'll detect objects. And again, it's going to say, well, do you want a, you know, a constant region? Uh, again, might work good for some things where they're always delivered to a, a, the same location. In this case, um, I want to go with a full image again. Okay. Now what we can see here is this isn't going to work out real well. Um, so what we need to do is go into go from our main where we're just selecting the region of interest, go into threshold, and what I'm detecting is not the bright objects. I want to detect the dark circles. So what you're trying to detect is what you want to select here. So I go to dark objects, and then typically what I do is I scroll up and down here until I'm just barely. Okay, you can see right here this this hue here is is where there's the the most the most objects or most activity in here. Um, I want to scroll down to where just the biggest items are really being detected. Kind of like right, maybe right in about here looks pretty good. Um, obviously, some of these items down here are, are noise that I want to get rid of. Um, these big dots, though, are exactly what I want. And I could try scrolling down a little bit more and see if I can get to something where I'm just barely on the objects I'm looking for. This looks great right here, as a matter of fact. So I'll hit OK. Or actually, before I hit OK, I want to go to Settings. Now, you'll notice right now I'm detecting five objects. One, and I don't know what number they are. You can barely see the numbers if you look really close. One, two, three, four, and there's my fifth object. Okay, so this is a great opportunity to really to really uh, create some, some thresholds that you want to deal with. You'll notice that the circles are all very similar in size. They're all in that 34, 33, 29,000. Um, you'll notice I've got one here that's size. This is really the area of the of the object itself. It's kind of a link, uh, link times width of pixels or pixels squared. So I can set a minimum size object. And if I just go up a little bit, you'll see that one down the bottom disappeared. I can see that the size here is way up at like 29, 30,000. So I'm going to set this pretty high, like 25, 25,000 for the minimum object size. Then the maximum object size I could see was around 30,000. I'm going to try it out by just putting it at, you know, like 50,000 initially. Let's see what happens here. Okay, 50,000 looks great. Now I've, I've eliminated a lot of the noise, but I still have this line that's not really an object that I want to count. Um, so this line is just a separator. So to get rid of that line, I'll notice that the line is object 2, and you'll see its size is 48,000. So if I go from, let's say, 25,000 up to, to 40,000, I should also get rid of that line, which I did. Now I just have three objects. Now this is a great time to test. So we can go down here and just cycle through our images. So I hit that, that looks great. Hit that, that looks great. Hit that, that looks great. That, that looks great. Hit that, that looks great. And look at that, we are detecting only the dots now. So you can see how we've eliminated all the noise from our system. We're gonna go ahead and hit OK. You'll also see it says the number of objects. So we're giving a count of the domino. So this would be the five domino. You know, this would be the two domino. This would be the six domino, so on and so forth. Um, now at this point, we want to create a custom overlay. So I'm going to come all the way down here to the additional tools, and I want to create a custom overlay. This custom overlay allows me to, to put something on the screen, display the count, if you will, of what, what we're looking at. So I'll go to custom overlay, go to text, and now when you get the text up, you get a text tool. We'll go to the text tool and basically get these little crosshairs where you can pick where you want to put your text. And I'm going to put domino count equals, and then I can go to my measurement area here, and I can pick what I want to measure. And it was in here where I was getting number of objects, or, or let's see here, just detect objects, number of objects. Oops right there. That's the number of objects. So I hit OK. Now domino count equals number of objects. Then I can go into my text tool here, pick a different color. I can make the text a lot bigger. I don't know why it comes in so small. I'll make it 96 font. Now you can see your domino count. If you want to move it down a little bit, you can just click on this. Or to make it faster, you can just you know hit a number in here. Domino count equals 6. I hit OK. 
then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little delay in here. So if I scroll down under additional tools, I want to put a little delay in here of 500 milliseconds. This makes it so it's not going to scroll through at a million miles an hour. Now at this point, if I go to run continuous, we should be able to watch the counts show up. And two, six, three, seven. I'm going to slow that down just a little bit more because that's actually going a little faster than I even want. So I'm going to go to 1,000 milliseconds and watch this. And here we go. Six, three, seven, six, five, two, six, three, seven. And what we've created is we've created an inspection tool using Vision Builder AI that will determine the number of dark objects on a domino. And you can see the countless applications to this um, from inspecting product, uh, sorting product, you know, inspecting for quality, um, reading barcodes even, reading text, you know, looking at sorting by color. I mean, there's just a million applications that this machine vision tool uh, can be used for. So take a stab at this, try it out, and, and see what you think.